everyone, welcome back to the channel Daily Trending Hub. Today we're diving deep into the futuristic world of the Mikoyan MIG-41, also known as the Pak dp the ambitious next-generation Russian interceptor. Let's explore its exterior, interior, performance, safety features, unique selling points, price, and wrap up with a conclusion. Starting with the exterior, the MiG-41 bears a sleek, blended fuselage design that emphasizes stealth and high-altitude performance. The aircraft is expected to have twin vertical stabilizers, a streamlined shape with internal weapons bays, and recessed air intakes to reduce radar cross-section. It's built using composite materials and radar-absorbing coatings to withstand intense heat loads from flight at extremely high speeds, skin temperatures could exceed 600 degrees Celsius. The estimated length is about 22 meters with a wingspan around 16 to 17 m, placing it in the size range of a large interceptor rather than a lightweight fighter. The focus is clearly on speed, altitude and stealth, rather than just maneuverability in dogfights. Reports mention ability to reach Mach 4 or more, operating in near space altitudes. Visually it presents as a very modern aircraft, with internal bays, clean lines, and high-performance design cues. As you imagine it on the runway or in a hangar, the exterior sets the tone. Extreme mission profile, high cost, advanced materials, and a significant step up from previous generation interceptors. Moving briefly to the interior, information is much more limited, but we know the cockpit is likely to incorporate advanced avionics, AI-assisted sensor fusion, and networked systems tied into air defense networks for long-range intercept missions. Because this is an interceptor designed for beyond visual range threats and possibly near space operations, the cockpit will prioritize situational awareness, high altitude life support, and high G capability over comfort or long loiter times. The interior is short, compact, mission oriented, with modern finishes, digital displays, helmet mounted queuing systems, and probably twin crew or optionally unmanned variant. Performance This is where the MIG 41 aims to break barriers. It is designed to reach sustained speeds of Mach 4 and beyond. Estimates place top speeds around Mach 4.3, 3,000 plus mph, 4,800 plus km per hour, and in some claims up to Mach 5. Service ceiling is expected to be extremely high. Near space altitudes around 25,000 meters, 82,000 feet, or higher. Range projections vary. One figure cites up to 7,000 km ferry range or missions across long Arctic frontiers. The aircraft is intended to intercept hypersonic threats, operate at very high altitudes, and deliver weapons deep into contested airspace, all of which demand significant engine and cooling advances. The propulsion may use advanced engines derived from the Alabama 51 or next-gen RAM combined cycle technologies. While no firm production numbers or verified performance tests exist, this remains a development program, the design goals position it as one of the fastest and highest flying interceptors ever conceptualized. Safety features. Given its mission profile, the MiG-41 is expected to include a number of advanced defensive and safety systems. First, stealth and low radar signature reduce detection risk. Second, the aircraft reportedly incorporates advanced electronic warfare and sensor jamming suites to protect itself against enemy radars and missiles. Third, some sources claim integration of a laser anti-missile defense, enabling interception of incoming missiles while flying at extreme altitudes. Fourth, the high altitude capability itself serves as a safety margin. By operating in near space, threats from conventional fighters and many missiles are less effective. Lastly, Advanced materials and structural design are necessary to handle the heat and stress of hypersonic flight, that indirectly improves safety by ensuring integrity under extreme conditions. However, it should be stated that because the program is still under development, practical safety records and systems validation are speculative at this stage. Unique Selling Points What makes the MIG-41 special? First, speed. Few, if any. Operational fighters aim for sustained Mach 4 Plus, that gives it rapid response over very large territories. Second, altitude. Near space capability means it can engage threats that many conventional aircraft cannot. Third, stealth interceptor hybrid, combining low observable design with very long range interception and high speed reach. Fourth, networked and future oriented. Avionics talk about AI, 
swarm operations, unmanned variants, anti-satellite role and integration with air defense nets. Fifth, strategic role. The design is especially tailored for the vast Russian Arctic and extreme altitude, long-range intercept missions where speed and reach matter more than dogfight agility. Sixth, potential export or signaling value. Possessing such an aircraft would represent technological prestige. It's a next-generation leap. Price. This is the area with the least firm data. There is no publicly confirmed unit cost. Some speculative sources, including forums and defense forums, hint at a price may be on the order of 80 United States dollars minus 150 million per unit when production occurs, but these are speculative and not official. Given the advanced materials, engines, stealth tech and high altitude capability, one would expect the cost to be very high compared with current fighters. Also given the project is still conceptual, budget overruns and delays are likely. So any price numbers should be treated with caution. Conclusion. In summary, the MiG-41 represents an ambitious vision of what an interceptor might be in the 2030s. Extremely fast, very high altitude, stealthy, networked, and designed for long-range and near-space operations. The exterior design underscores its mission, sleek, stealthy, built for speed. The interior promises state-of-the-art avionics though remains lightly described. Its performance goals are spectacular. Mach 4 plus speed, high altitude, long range. Safety is addressed via stealth, EU, laser defense, durable materials, though much remains theoretical. Its unique selling points are its extreme speed, altitude, reach, network technology, and role in a modern air defense paradigm. The price is unclear but likely very high reflecting advanced technology and specialized role. However, it's also worth noting that much of the MiG-41's reported capabilities remain in the conceptual or development stage. Analysts caution that technological hurdles, economic constraints and production realities may delay or limit the project. For enthusiasts and defense watchers it remains a very exciting concept, but for now it is not yet a flown, combat-ready system. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this breakdown of the MIG-41, make sure to like, subscribe and stay tuned for our next deep dive.